Today I'm reviewing this uh, Sandpro 75D. Uh, my video today is about how I did my installation and just to give you an idea during your installation if you're wanting to know how to put it together I've actually followed a few other videos that are pretty good on how to put this thing together and uh, it's pretty well worked pretty well for me but today I want to show you what I've done with uh, my uh, 75D um, so let me go through this first. So, first of all, I purchased this uh, Hayward skimmer, and uh, I want to show you how well this thing works. I had a couple of doubts when I purchased it, but man, this thing works pretty good. There is a little flapper that hooks up into those corners there. I really didn't like that flapper. It's supposed to, uh, uh, if the water returns, it's supposed to raise up and retain everything that's in here but I kind of like it better this way so I, I left that out. Aside from that, um, when you fill it up with water, it does put a little weight to it and it makes it, you know, it makes you fall in. So what I did after that installation, I had to cut it, I had to replumb it and I made this leg per se and that's where I'm, I did my connection. Put a ball valve, a ball valve there for servicing. So it goes from, uh, again, my pool, comes in, uh, and it goes to my pump. It comes into this uh, basket here. This is your in, and this is your out. And after your pump does its work, it comes in. On the 70, on the Sand Pro, it's labeled as pump, and it's labeled as pool. So we're gonna, again, come in from the pool, comes up, pump, and then this one here says pool. So this goes to the pool, but before I went into my pool, I installed this aftermarket chlorinator because I was having no luck with those floaters. I could put as much chlorine as I wanted to in there and I, it just wasn't doing anything for me. So I bought this chlorinator, which I made a video of as well. So um, I put this uh, back check here I don't want any of that chlorine coming back into my uh, uh, my system here. So uh, uh, after it leaves here, I got another ball ball valve there uh, to isolate the system. So whenever I have to do my work, so it comes here. I also made this. My pool is just temporary. I don't keep it up all summer long. So yes, this is temporary. So I've installed this here and uh, my kids wanted a waterfall so this is the waterfall i made them uh, i'll catch another angle here in just a minute so you can see it but uh got a ball valve here when you shut it off or you try to do service the water tries to back up this way so what i've done is i put a ball valve here so i can isolate this from the pool now let me catch an angle here That is an extra markets uh, um, uh, part that I purchased here. So the ones that came with the pool, I didn't care for them, so I bought this one. Just make the hole and just tighten this up. It's got a gasket here. Bought this at Lowe's. Bought this at Lowe's. Put that in together. And I want to show you this waterfall that I built for my kids. And today is 4th of July, so it got pretty warm, so we we took a small canopy here, here so the kiddos could get in and not get a sunburn. When I first made this, I made it straight up and down, and all the water was leaking out of the pool. So I came back and redid it, put a little a few angles in there. So now the water's actually falling back into the pool. As you can tell, it's pretty dry over here. But this is my installation. Maybe this will give you an idea while you're doing yours. Thank you for watching.